Okay, this is called A Warrior's Farewell. I uh, started this piece. Heck, I started this piece in the other house that I lived in. That's over almost two years ago now. Probably three years ago, if it comes right down to it. Um, I've never really been happy with the head on the horse. And uh, let me show you. Time to play with some clay. The head always seemed a little big. Now, Mustangs were, uh, you know, they weren't an, a pretty horse in most instances. Uh, a lot of the uh, horses were, uh, never mind. Anyway, I've just never been really happy with the head on this horse. And so I want to redo the head of the horse. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make an armature for the horse's head and put it onto this board here that uh, I'm showing you here. <laughs> I'm using one camera. Um, and I'm going to redo the head. I'm going to measure uh, the uh, horse here and... I get the head a little bit more proportional to the horse. Uh, there are measurements that you uh, take off of uh, a horse that gives you the formula for the uh, length of the head. And uh, so that's what I'm going to do, but I'm not going to do it today because I've got to get ready to go to dinner. It's late in the afternoon. I was uh, photographing my... Uh, new bronze of a crazy horse and uh tried to photograph it uh over the last last several hours and uh to get it just right as far as the uh, lighting goes and uh i think i got a pretty good job on it um anyway th these are the pictures i took all right i'm going to uh pick this up beginning of next week no, not going to. I've got to take the bronze of Crazy Horse back to the foundry. And uh, so I'll be doing that uh, on Monday. All right, I've got the uh, head started. I've got the head scaled for the skull. And then uh, I'll work out the skull before I put the muscles on it. All this I cover in my uh, instructional a video on creating a horse's head from scratch and uh, I show how to scale it how to get it to be the same length and shape as the actual skull uh, this is the scale that I've uh, worked out for the uh, skull or uh, and the horse's head um, you can get these uh, type of photographs off of uh, Amazon by uh, doing a search and in my instructional video I tell you how to do that to narrow the search so that you get not a bunch of other stuff but you get exactly this stuff um, anyway the head that I've got on the horse right now is a is the right scale on everything it's just not a head that I really think is a, a good one and so I'm going to redo the skull and the head and then uh, cut this one off and attach the new one. One way I keep myself in the studio and I can buy clay to work with and pay for the internet to put the uh, videos that I shoot on to the web is through my sales of my uh, instructional videos. Um, if you're so inclined, uh, check the link below this video uh, where I have a review of all nine of my current instructional videos and uh, see if you possibly find anything interesting there. Um, I pretty much give you my over 50 years of experience in sculpting and uh, I'd really appreciate it if you'd uh, consider purchasing one or two or 
even all my videos. Um, they're streaming online on Vimo, and uh, you need a passcode to see them. But that works forever as long as you have that passcode and the link. So please uh, consider that, and let's get busy on sculpting now. End of promotion. Still could get by with the horse's head as it is, but I just think I can improve on the head a little bit more. So I'm going to try that. I'm going to take the mane off the horse to start with. This is about the third time I've done this. <laughs> you can always improve. The ear is a little short. That's why, another reason why I wanted to do this again. So it just gives me an opportunity to improve which was all, what was already dang good and make it even better. I've made some anatomical measurements here. Um, the width of the nose is just a hair big or thick. Um, the width of the cheek is just a little bit big. I was going to start a new head, but then I thought, why mess with a good head and do it twice? So I'm just going to do some minor adjustments. You've always got to be willing to tear it apart if it ain't working. It wasn't it wasn't working, it just wasn't working perfectly. Or at least to my liking. The muzzle of the horse is quite a bit thinner than what I had it. Because the clay is so old, it is a little stiffer than it would be if it was new.
because over time plastiline clay doesn't harden it gets stiffer because the oils start evaporating from the uh, clay I want to measure the depth of the jaw and the depth of the cheek okay I may end up having to do the whole head dip again, but until that time, I'm just going to trim it off and work with what I got. The head is already looking a lot less clunky. That was the idea. Well, the battery in my camera is about to die. And uh, I forgot to charge it over the weekend. Um, I've got the horse's head to the thickness that I want. And I've got to work on that cheek a little bit. But then I'll start working on the eyes next time. And... Uh, Filling in the rest of the features of the horse's head. Um, I know it's extreme, but you know, when something bothers you, you got to take care of it. And this one, I've had enough time to sit and look at it to think about what I needed to do because I knew something bothered me about it, and I realized it was the uh, size of the head. And I could get by with it because, quite honestly, Mustangs had odd shaped heads anyway. And, uh, and this is a Mustang. But I just thought that uh, if you want to sell a horse, you've got to have the head at least look halfway decent. So, till next time, have a great night, everybody. And I'll see you when I get back on this. Good night. Give me a like and a subscribe. And ring the little bell. Also, don't forget I have instructional videos available now online. The link below this video shows you a link to a review of all nine videos. Later, everybody. Good night.